What's up guys? Welcome back, Jan New here. Or am I? <laughs> <laughs> but what's up guys, welcome back. Sorry, playing with some of the new video AIs, they're so much fun. Um, but I want to give you guys a quick update, quick fill in, because this last week has been insane. Ever since even talking about or, or showing some of this stuff off, I've been being contacted nonstop about different options and different applications and different things that this AI can do. All of them blowing my mind away, which, which partially, I, I, I hope uh, that's what I was hoping for. But um, uh, bringing, it, bringing it back in, because it's going to be a short video this week, I'm going to show off maybe a couple of the things that it's doing, and I'm going to talk on this one point quickly, because one of the really cool ones, uh, and this is more like even a save a life kind of thing. Um, someone that works in ambulances was really interested in the arbiter for making, uh, I guess, informed decisions on something they should do on that route to the hospital before even a doctor comes. All this other legal stuff, but it's just like everything is going so fast. And I think I want to take a, take a step back today. I'm going to try to maybe sleep a little more. I got, actually got some sleep last night, so we're, we're looking good on that front. But it's just been nonstop. Even all the new features that are coming into this thing. I can't wait till I can show all this off to you guys open beta as soon as physically possible. And I have a really cool way I think I want to get everyone in on the open beta, using and playing around with it, uh, with challenges based around the AI itself. Cool, cool stuff. Let me show you real quick the, uh, I guess I'll show you something I popped in this week. There's just so many applications. I'm in short, short video, short video. <laughs> Okay, so right into the sauce here, it, it has been a wild ride. There's been a bunch of new tools and a bunch of new features and a lot of more background stuff that's been going on other than the other like regular background stuff, I guess. And I just, I'll show off just one of the new ones. I know I showed off the Arbiter and I showed off the function tool and everything in the last one. Now we have another one, another one of those built-in slapped on top. And this is kind of the idea, the end goal of what's coming out of these things, being able to make these little applications like, like as fast as we want. I love this personally, being that I've worked with these AIs for so long that it's like, this ability to make these like super quick ones super fast is exactly what I've been looking for for so long. And that is what I want to bring, I guess, to the world. But let's even show off this one real quick and I'll show off something even cooler that I did. Um, this one, so this one is for generating business emails. We've had to send a couple emails out for different different things. So getting an initial template to send, it was really important for us. So, 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 so. Let's say I am a YouTuber. Let's Let's say this for a second. And I want to, uh, the head of YouTube, and I'm mad and want to tell them a problem. Speaking of which, Google AdSense, come back to me. Uh, I've been spending all my AdSense on, on ads for videos and my account got banned. I don't know why, but maybe that's something I should have wrote an email about that. But the ability that, that we're making now with some of these tools um, to add these to add these almost compute blocks, aka, I know you some might have saw it a second ago, and it says in the top right-hand corner right here, BRX. Uh, we got some, probably one of the coolest domain names possible for this thing. It's not up yet, but um, I got a five-letter domain name to host this whole thing off of. Longer, longer story there. Um, but now we're building out an, a cadenced email for whoever we want with arbitrary inputs, arbitrary everything. Oh my God! Yeah, and you have to you have to start to. And hopefully, yeah, this is this is second video of me going insane and talking to a camera. But hopefully, you're starting to see the sheer usefulness of this uh, AI and the way we're, that we're reprocessing and pre-processing. And it's I, I don't know how to explain. Sorry if I'm also a lot of little tired, little discombobulated. Um, the next little piece I'm going to show off to you. I, I I've it feels like I'm making a new form of coding. I'm I'm coding words. I'm. I, I, I'll explain. I'll explain. So after after this one comes through, um, I'll, I'll start to explain this this new concept of of almost. I mean, it's prompt engineering at the end of the day. That's what it's being called. But it, it feels like something completely different that I'm able to do. Uh, so let's see. The subject in regards to in regards to current YouTube. I hope this email finds you well. Blah, 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 blah. See, normally it spits out a um, a templated version. It might be a little different for this one, but it looks like it got an email. You can read it if you want. Um, sorry if I'm, I'm glossing all this stuff. Quick video this this week. But let's get into a little bit of the new sauce, as they say. But right into the new sauce, and I can't showcase all of this just yet. This is just a single step in, in multiple steps. And if you pause the video, haha, yeah, you got some sauce. I know, I'm okay with it. I'll give you that much sauce. But I, I want to I want to kind of explain an idea and a subset of ideas that it's inside of prompt engineering that I think is really important to understand and know. So uh, in this this perfect example for something I'm building right now. So I'm currently building the ability into our application right now to generate slides and presentations for showing off what we can do, all this other stuff. We're in still a very rudimentary stage, but the fact is this was generated from just saying, hey, I want a slide with a title that says this and then some text in the thing and then a little red notification tag. And then I ended up giving it like location data and other stuff to build off of that then let me input into 
all of these pieces and parts. And it's this weird, like almost new form of programming because what it's doing is it's generating a Google API request that, that has an inner JSON object and a response request object that you're allowed to edit a page. And it's not able to output an actual PDF. So it's too long to do that. Uh, AK, like the, the AK tokens just isn't even close enough. So there, we have to find weird abstractions to, to get useful information out of it that it can still go back in and reprocess. And that's kind of what prompt engineering is. And in the overall, I'll let, I'm letting you guys read this one because this one's really interesting how this when I did it working out. And this is Gen 1. All of this is going to change. So I'm sorry if you steal this one and take the time to copy and pasta this one down. It's not going to work. But uh, it's able to fully generate these slides that then I've been plugging into a program on top of this. And you see each one of these iterations and trials. Each one of this piece of green code is another try when it was running through and trying to generate slides. And I've been methodically giving it the ability to do this. So it has an idea of the Google Slides, but it doesn't really know how to how to process that in, in a correct JSON object. So with prompt engineering, I've been going in and and almost guiding, guiding the process of creating that same JSON object. Super, super, super interesting stuff. And it like, I feel like everyone's gonna be playing with this at some point. You kind of have no choice, but it's this overpowered. But um, it, it's, it's like a, it knows what it's doing, but it doesn't have the right parsing for certain things. This one is a perfect example. It doesn't know how to do title in two columns yet. But if I can get through all the examples and make a very well-engineered prompt to, to re-reference everything, all the areas and all the issues it could get, including some of these and some of these things, it'll just be able to spit out a slide when you give it a bunch of data. Yeah, insanity, I know. And then also on top of that as well, I've been going in and doing a bunch of stuff with LLM Pinecone database, vector, vector processing, aka semantic search via AI. And if you don't even understand what that means, don't worry, but it is extremely, extremely overpowered. We're gonna be able to compress large data sets and make them searchable to a point where they can be searched, indexed, re-referenced, and then re-ran through GPTs that have a limited size character. So if you need to give a, a, one of these instances a data that's hundreds of gigabytes long, it can't take that much data. You have to figure out how to pull out exactly the piece you need exactly when, and that's what this does. Um, so interesting stuff all around. I, I can't share too much of the sauce just yet. Hopefully in the near future, open beta is going to be coming for this thing. We have a, a small closed beta running right now, but we have to be really careful with uh, with who we're giving all this stuff out to, how it's being used, because there's going to be a bunch of inline stuff. We have to make sure it doesn't get abused. There's all this other stuff going on right now. Um, but I want to make sure I got a quick update video out to you guys, because uh, it, it means the world to me that you guys watch my videos and and I really appreciate it because uh, in the near future, I feel like I'm going to need to build an actual army around this. Like I want everyone to be, I want, I want the best prompt engineers in the world to be watching these videos and be like, whoa, how did you do that? <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's about it for today's video. I guess quick update and uh, I hope I'll see you guys next week. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.